We're gonna go over this side border here. It was really a surprise with the cool flowers like this larkspur, the poppies, not focusing, poppy pods now. I have this pussy willow tree which I propagated. Willows are very easy to propagate. They're native and they're very beneficial for the insects when they bloom very early in the spring. Just trying to capture that bee on video. <laughs> I have gold raspberries, milkweed, native physocarpus, strawberries. We have Little tomatoes not getting any sun because of the strawberries. We have toad flax or baby snapdragons. Bloomed over two months and the bees love them. And I love the color and mass when there's a lot of them. Icelandic poppies, carrots. This is a weed that just popped up so I could see it. I have zucchini in between, trying to grow, trying to use space as much as possible because the poppies were taking such a big amount of space. I really, it shaded out everything else. I had peppers in here, so we had no peppers this year. I have irises. Everything is stuffed in here and I love it. And then we have these leaves. I'm not sure what they really are. We have the larkspur, the poppies, candy tuft, or eberus. I really love it. There was a tiny bee on there. Orlea, I love cool flower. You could sow it in the winter and it just comes up. I have some other things growing in here. It's not labeled, so I'm not sure, but they're flowers. Asparagus first year, gotta let it flower. I have another zucchini here on this side and I'm gonna just trellis it up this tree. I'm gonna tie it so it doesn't fall over. I have a lilac in here. It's growing well. I have dahlias. All the stakes you see are dahlias. And in the back I have garlic. There's a tiny little bee on Orlea. I have brassicas, sage. These are carrot flowers. I absolutely love them. And usually in the middle of the day, the pollinators are just all over it and it smells so good. And I'm gonna have carrot seeds, but it's extremely tall. There's tomatoes in here growing. I really like this area with the purple, white, orange. So we have the Larkspur or Leia. Then we have oregano gaunt is a flower. It's really beautiful right now. We have wolf, Siberian wallflower. That's a cool flower. You could sow it in the winter and it'll just bloom like this. Then we have marmalade, which is an or orange double echinacea. I just think this combination here is so pretty. And uh, a lot of the Siberian wallflower has gone over and now it's going to make seed. So that'll be wonderful. So you could take tips from nature on when to plant seeds is when this is ready to throw its seeds down. That's when you can plant seeds. So this will probably be another four to six weeks time. So maybe mid-July and July. This is a hot papaya, brand new bloom. 
it hasn't fully developed yet like this one. This one has been around for a while. Very long blooming and smells fragrant. I know hot papaya smells fragrant too. We had peonies in here. We have the dahlias, tomatoes. This is Egyptian walking onion. So it's an onion, you could use it as a green onion and you could eat the bulbs in the ground. It also makes these little bulbs which when they get too heavy, they fall to the ground and it makes it seem like they're walking. We have another echinacea here. I think this is the double raspberry and Orlea. We have strawberries all over for the ground layer. And we have thyme, smells so good. We have Trefoil, more echinacea. This is a native uh, arrowwood viburnum. I just put this in. It's doing well. Then we have the chocolate bone set. Easy to propagate. As you can see, it's kind of like salvia where it has... So the bunnies taught me a lesson. They ate the tops and I realized that they branch which is easy to propagate. You see even the back one has little leaves coming out. So you could just pop this off at the base and it'll be a whole new plant. You pop it off right here and this will be a whole new plant. So I love this. These were chives, but I cut off the flowers. And there's a tomato there. More echinacea, but I guess the bunnies or something is eating it. I got dahlias coming out. I got blueberry and black-eyed Susan. I'm not sure if this is Sahara or any one of the other varieties, but I'm so excited to see them bloom. More cone flowers. There's a white one here that's been blooming for a while. And more of this toad flax. It's like a fairy mix. So this is the cool flower sewing, which is Larkspur. And I love the beautiful range of colors. They have whites, lavenders, pinks, and they have a nice scent. They do smell nice. And the bees love them. We got the electric blue, white, this one is really blue. The rest are purple, electric purple. Next to these yellow cone flowers, I didn't really plant it that way. I was just planting everything out. But we have blackberry, blackberries in here, echinacea, uh, asparagus gone to seed. And I love how the little bells look there. Now that is a beautiful larkspur. Dahlias, peas in here, uh, calendula in the back, which is orange. We have foxglove. We have this, which I forgot what it is, and it, I have yet to identify it. And it's got three leaves, so it's in the clover family. Maybe it's a bush clover, which is native. So I'm trying to do natives, cut flowers, and vegetables in here. And this is the foxglove that I had started last spring. It's gone over at the top, but it's got a billion side shoots. And the bees love it too. Pretty colors. We have a thornless blackberry more dahlias, echinaceas, and love in a mist or nigella, also cool flower. And it's got these beautiful blue flowers or white, double white. I have some native bushes in there, but the nigella makes this pod. It's not ready yet, but it's squishy. It has to be brown, hard, and dry. We have um, 
This will be a red flower, red cypress. So I can't wait till that blooms. It looks like it's ready because it's doing something. Echinacea. We have the. Uh, <coughs> this is a vine that is uh, summer. It's, it's autumn, summer, autumn clematis. Summer autumn clematis, something like that. We have comfrey leaves, we have a bunch of native grasses. This is a very wet spot, so I tried to not plant cone flowers or dahlias in here. I have brassicas growing, fever few with the larkspur, fig bush in the back, more fever few that fell over. It was like one foot last year and it's two feet now. <clears throat> so this is it for this border. There's a lot going on and I, that's how I like it. I like it stuffed with a variety of flowers, vegetables. And I just can't wait for these. Black-eyed Susans to bloom.